All right, um, let's look at questions numbers 18 through 24. You'll notice that uh, up on the top here it says this is a B problem. So if you want to get a B in the class, you need to be able to do a problem like this. And it says a testing box with dimensions of 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches is made up of an unknown 3 16 inch thick insulation material. Determine the thermal conductivity. This is what we're looking for, the thermal conductivity, which you should know has the symbol of K. Um, <clears throat> for the insulating material, if a 25-watt bulb, that would be the power. Okay, this is the power, and we're going to use this to get the area, and this is the thickness. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, to, is used to heat the box. Ignore the heat loss through the base of the testing box. The ball maintains the inside temperature at 10 degrees Celsius higher than the outside temperature. That we need to know. That's going to that's gonna be our temperature difference. The difference in temperature, 10 degrees higher inside than outside. And we are not going to be considering the bottom of the box. So it says list all of your known values for this. So we know that the thickness is 3 16 of an inch. And we're going to change that to a decimal right away. 3 divided by 16 is 0 0.1875. 0 0.1875. We know that the area of this is, we're going to have to go 10 inches by 10 inches. That would give us the area of one of the walls. We've got we're losing of heat. Actually, I should be losing of heat in every direction. We've got it going up from the top, and we've got it going from the side wall, from that wall, and from this wall. There are five walls. So we go 10 times 10 is 100 times 5 equals 500, and that would be inches, square inches. Uh, well, what else we know? The change, the difference in temperature is 10 degrees Celsius, and the power. We know the power is a 25, it's 25 watts. Okay, that's all the information that we're given. The unknown I have already circled up on the top is the K which is thermal conductivity. We don't know what that is. The equation, I guess I wrote the equation down here already. This is what I will, what I will call our power equation, is thermal conductivity, K, times the A is the area, times the temperature difference, and we're going to divide it by the thickness of the material. Apply the known values, number 21. So let's just go ahead and do that. Our values that we have are 25 watts is our power equals thermal conductivity, we don't know, times the area, we just figured it out up top, is 500 inches squared, times the temperature difference is 10 degrees Celsius, and we're going to divide that by the thickness, and that's why we changed it to a decimal number, 0.1875 inches. So this is inches here. Solve for K, use the algebra in order to do this. And I guess I'm just going to combine that together with number 21. So I'm just going to show the math up here. So we need to isolate the thermal conductivity by itself. In order to do that, let's see. We're dividing by 0.1875 inches, so we will multiply by 0.1875 inches, but we have to do that on both sides. 0.1875 inches. That will cancel that out over here, because we're dividing by that. And then we're going to need to divide by the numbers that are on the top here. We're going to need to divide by that and that on both sides to get the K by itself. So we're going to divide by 500 inches squared times 10 degrees Celsius. 
but we have to do it on both sides. 500 inches squared times 10 degrees Celsius. That cancels it out on this side. So now we are left with K by itself on the right-hand side. And we've got our math set up on our left-hand side. Inches, one of the inches on the top, well, the inch from the top will cancel one of the inches on the bottom. And that's the only units that we can cancel. So we get 0.1875 times 25 divided by 500 divided by 10. So let's do that math. 0.18, oops, 0.1875 times 25, and we're going to divide by, let's see, change this here, divide by, 500 <clears throat> is point zero 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 nine three seven five. Okay, so that actually is the answer for number for number twenty two point zero 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 nine three seven five, and it would be watts per inch per degree Celsius. But it says convert your conductivity to watts per meter. Are the correct units for for thermal conductivity is not inches like we have up on the top. We've been working in inches. We really need to convert that to to meters. So 0 0.0009375 watts per inch per degree Celsius. We're going to convert that to, it says there are 39.37 inches, 39.37 inches for every one meter. And that's going to cancel inches on the top and the bottom and give us meters on the bottom. So 0 0.00931, that's 0.375 times 39.37. gives us 0 0.0369 0 0.0369 and that's the correct units watts per meter per degree celsius okay what do you think the material is made of number 24 this question um, makes us look up at I'm going to change this here look at the thermal conductivity chart which is we've got the thermal conductivity chart way oops way up way up here you got to look at that chart okay so point zero three six nine we have to look at our conduct thermal conductivity numbers right here to see what it's closest to. And it's closest to that one right there. So we would say that it's styrofoam. Thermal conductivity is a characteristic property which will identify any material because styrofoam always has a thermal conductivity of 0 0.03. There are different kinds of styrofoam which have different numbers, but it's closest to that styrofoam. So that's what it would, that's what we would say it is. So I hope that helps you out. Again, this is a B problem, which means if you want to get a B in the class, you have to be able to do a problem like this. Okay, I'm going to do the next video. It's going to be this last one here, which you'll see is an A problem. So I'm going to stop this and put this on Schoology so you can see that one by itself.